So you're working on this shaft here, <clears throat> trying to replace these seals, you need a special tool. You gotta have a, the stretcher that fits over the shaft, stretches the seal out, and then you need the resizer, which comes in and squishes it back down to the right size. I don't have that tool. I need that tool. So what do you do? We innovate. Get yourself a long funnel. This is from uh, Dollar Tree. More expensive ones will be a little bit stronger, but this works. And get you a hose clamp that fits over the shaft. Uh, a little bit bigger than the shaft. The hose clamp. Take a little bit of duct, uh, electrical tape and just wrap it a couple layers thick on the inside, kind of like that, so that you have a nice, clean, smooth surface. And the funnel, you want to carefully cut it off the end, like this, to a length that just fits a little bit wider than the shaft. And make sure you deeper the edges so you have a nice, smooth edge. You don't want to cut that ring off as you're sliding it down. The funnel, you can tell, fits over the end of the shaft and is a, just a little bit wider than the shaft itself. You'll have to play with it a little bit, get it the right length so that you're not stretching it too much. But you just have yeah, about maybe eighth inch of gap there. Get our old ring off, get our shiny new ring, and slide it in place. Now we've got the ring on, let's slide our hose clamp in place. We're going to carefully fit the hose clamp over the ceiling ring, being careful not to distort the ceiling ring at all. We've got the hose clamp on, and we're going to, with the clamping side pushed up against, we're going to slowly tighten the clamp while making sure our ceiling ring tightens evenly around. We can move it around a little bit as we tighten it. It's important to move the clamp around as you're tightening it to make sure you're not distorting the seal in one place and it's compressing it equally all around the shaft. Make sure you tighten this down nice and tight. It doesn't move at all. Then we're going to loosen again. and make sure we compressed it flat. I'm going to turn the clamp 180 degrees and tighten it down again. Once that's done, take the clamp off and we have our end result. Pretty tight fit. And last note, make sure when you put the tape on the pipe clamp or the hose clamp, make sure the clamp is open wide enough to where the tape will fit around that stretched ceiling ring. Otherwise you won't be able to get it over when you try, try to compress that, spring, that seal. And that's it.